going on YouTube? It's your boy, Food Service Driver. Um, got another tip video for y'all. It's going to be real quick, real short. Um, I got a couple of questions, Q&As that I'm going to answer. And then I'm going to give you guys an update about that live uh, delivery footage I've been asking for. Um, one of the questions I got asked from my major huge subscriber, y'all go subscribe to him, RLC, RLC TV. Um, ask me how you prepare yourself physically and mentally for the days you don't want to work. Um, working here at McLean, man, it is very draining. I'm talking about you working like 14 hours a day, man, like 10 to 14. Um, there'd be some days where I just want to be like, man, I don't feel like going to work. I want to go to work, man. Um, what really motivates me, um, is like the money. I know it's not all about the money, but when you got a family, you got to take care of, when you got your, when you got kids and you got a wife, you got to take care of. That really right there should motivate you to get up and go out there and grind and hustle and make that money. Um, a lot of people not in it for the money. A lot of people just in it for the experience and the job. But for me, I'm looking to make this uh, a career staying here. So I'm all about my money. I'm all about getting up, grinding. Um, every day when I leave to go to work, my daughter always asks me, like, hey, daddy, are you coming home? Or... Um, if I leave, she's like, all right, daddy, I'll see you later. And then, you know, she just asks me for stuff, like what she want. And that what motivates me to get up, that I got to provide for my daughter whatever she wants, so I go get it for her. So that's what motivates me to get her. other things that can motivate you is, you know, you got a, got a new house, you got to pay the house note, or you got a brand new car, you got to pay that car. It's just so many different factors. You got to find that one thing that uh get you up to go grind and that's my daughter every time my daughter wants i'm always gonna get it no matter what nobody can't tell me nothing about that and that's what makes me grind every day to get up and go get it every day all day no matter how tired i am that's what really motivates me to get up um another thing you gotta think about is um when you're over here you gotta get your sleep man you really gotta get your sleep you work in like 10 14 hour days and you're mostly driving at night Especially at nighttime, most people are fatigued at nighttime. So I would definitely recommend when you when you get off your route and you know what you're doing for the following night, you get your sleep. Um, another uh, question I asked was like, how do you get how do you sleep during the daytime? Um, I actually found this out. It actually helps me. I bought this on uh, Amazon. It's a, a a sleep mask on Amazon. It really helps me out. Um, the reason is because I deliver at night, so I have to sleep during the day. It's very uncomfortable to sleep during the day, but with this sleep mask, I mean, it really, it really blocks out like the sun, like you see right here. Like you got the little memory foam pad in the side, and it really blocks out the sun. So that's why I used to sleep during the day, cause when I sleep, and you, know, you have the sun beaming on your face, and you're trying to sleep, it's twisting and turning hard to go to sleep. So I would recommend that you get on Amazon. I only spent about. 14 bucks for it. it came like next day delivery for free um also um for people like for new people want to come to mclean um don't expect everybody who always come here always expect you're gonna make them big bucks come up in here we're gonna claim it's not that easy you got stepping stones to where you got to get the experience to make the money see different between me and you i had prior food experience coming over here in mclean and for people just getting off the road or rookies, you're going to come in and not get much experience. But you can make some money, but don't expect to make that eighty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 a year on your first year and you have no food experience. It's just not realistic at all. I'm telling you, Strap, it's just not realistic. And people come here thinking it's realistic. They're going to make that money. And then come to find out you're working, you're not seeing that money, then people quit. I'm just letting you know right now, don't come over here expecting you're going to make all this type of money. On your first year and you have no food experience whatsoever you just got to get the habit out of that just expect your first year to be honest with you coming into food service in general you're looking about maybe 50 depending on your area 50 to 65 dollars and high or hot no it's not high like low seventy thousand. it just all depends over here at mclean you got different pay scales so if you're coming off with no food experience you're gonna start at pay grade one you won't really see much money till I pay grade three. And that'll be about like a year after working here. And that's when you start getting into like the 70, 80. And after that, 90s, $100,000. So you just got to keep in mind, like be patient. A lot of people come here don't want to be patient. You just got to be patient if you want to make that money. 
Um, that's one key thing about food so you just gotta be patient a lot of people come here thinking they're gonna make all the type of money don't make it and want to quit you really got to be patient when you come over here to food service but like i said you just gotta find something that motivates you. me it's my daughter my daughter motivates me up every day that's why i always up and getting grinding every day um especially another tip for people who come into food service especially over at my client um, that extra board, that extra board is no joke. Extra board, you're going to be on call. I'll tell you right now, you're going to be on call. Like, literally every damn day. You're going to be on call till your 60 hours run out every day. Just get used to it. Me, I didn't mind doing it. This is my last week running um, uh, extra board because I start my new right next week with my new partner. So, I'm going to make a lot more content when I'm with my new partner. Um, basically delivery and also give you better tips and advice because right now i'm just doing the routes by myself i'm doing mostly remote routes which is like two day routes going out of town and come back the next day so i can give you all the tips and advice i get but when i get with my partner i'm gonna give you guys more tips and advice so anything else y'all want to know y'all just leave it in the comment section below um like i said um one person i really who really motivated me when i first started food service was um ROC TV. He helped me out a lot. Um, gave me some good tips and advice because I came in food service. I ain't no thing, but watching his videos and also him helping me out. That was a real, that was a real man I really look up to and I still look up to him to this day. So for all y'all who don't know what that is, I'm going to leave his uh, subscription down below. Y'all go subscribe, go like his videos, go check him out. He got real good tip videos and just go holler at him. But anyway, if y'all want to know anything else, any more tips y'all want to know, um, about that live delivery, uh, that's coming soon. The thing is, uh, I'm going to do it to where I don't get in trouble because you can't really see inside the stores. That's against company policy to show what inside the stores look like. But I will show what I look like when I'm delivering inside the truck going down the ramp. Man, where I put my products, but I'm not going to show. I'm going to show what where i put the stuff at but i'm not going to show too much of the store because i could really get me in trouble and i'm not going to lose my job for nobody so i'm gonna give y'all what live delivery looks like so i can get a better idea of what it looks like here at mclean or how it is in food service in general and if anything else y'all want to know anything else y'all want me to answer just leave it down below and i'll holla at y'all have a good night